you could buy three Poco X6 Pros and a McDonald's meal for the price of one iPhone 15 Pro. And uh, I know that this is a ridiculous comparison, but we're doing it anyway because it's super fun. In today's video, we're going to be testing how good is the Poco X6 Pro's camera compared to the mighty iPhone 15 Pro and decide whether you should actually splurge $1,000 on this phone or you should just take this one for $300. Now let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so in the first few samples that I'm going to show you here, I will not actually tell you which one is the Poco and which is the iPhone, I will let you decide that and I don't think it's gonna be particularly hard for you because there's quite a few differences when it comes to these two devices. After all, one is super cheap and the other one is super expensive. But the backstory here is that I actually went to the castles of Romeo and Juliet, which are very near to where I'm living in a town called Montecchio Maggiore and that is in the north of Italy. I don't believe that anyone is going to mistake the iPhone 15 Pro's amazing stabilization for the Poco, so there you have it. The left one is the Poco, the right one is the iPhone. And as you can see from these samples here, which are both in good and bad lighting situations, the software processing of both of these phones is entirely different. The Poco phone tends to have this over sharpening and over saturation when it comes to both videos and photos, but it tends to keep that these details in some of the shows. You just need some decent lighting, otherwise it kind of falls apart. While the iPhone 15 Pro offers you a more consistent experience with a lot less saturated colors and in my opinion, the colors are actually looking a little bit faded on the iPhone depending on the lighting situation but I believe that this is all processing and uh, actually when it comes to comparing them side by side the differences are massive because the Poco phone tries to oversaturate and over sharpen every single shot so it looks a lot more processed compared to the iPhone it literally looks like you've run it through an editing software and that's not the case at all but I still like how the images turn out I like the colors of the Poco, but in my opinion there is no beat in the consistency that the iPhone 15 Pro has to offer both in terms of processing and how it handles the light and how it handles the overall detail and situation. Hit me up down in the comments guys and tell me how close does the Poco come to the iPhone. Oh and hit that like button while you're at it. Now before we continue I would like to quickly mention the sponsor of this video Fast Comet. Now, Fast Comet is a hosting company that you can use to create your own websites from blogs to shops to literally any type of project that you might have and I know that because I'm using them myself. They offer an amazing 24-7 customer and technical support that you can rely on. They are cheaper than most bigger hosting companies out there like GoDaddy, SiteGround and Bluehost. So make sure to give them a try from the link in my description below and that way you can also support me as a creator. Now let's get back into the video. Moving on to a more brightly lit area and you will notice how the Poco is holding its ground so good against the iPhone 15 Pro. Like the only way that I could tell them apart is because the Poco tends to produce this yellowish tint on everything as well as the jitters that are inside of these videos. Like if you pay attention you would notice how many jittering there is uh, due to the autofocus or due to the overall processing that uh, the Poco phone does. But uh, besides that the quality of the videos and photos are just amazing amazing on both of these devices so what I'm trying to say is that the gap between budget phones and flagship devices is shrinking year by year and these samples here only prove it yeah we are talking about the main camera lens we are not uh, talking about the ultra wide or the macro lenses that uh, the cheap phones just tend to just overlook but that's due to costs and uh, at the end of the day 90% of people are just going to use that main lens and occasionally the ultra wide but it's just so crazy how much value can you get out of these cheap phones these days. And to be honest, there are some samples here in the photos that I actually prefer how the Poco took that picture instead of the iPhone. Even though I know that the iPhone has the better processing and the better lens. Still, I believe that in some of these photos the Poco performs a little bit better when it comes to specific scenarios. And guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, then I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be making a lot, a lot more videos like this one. We have past 500 subscribers, so I couldn't have been happier and now the next goal is 1000, so let's go! When it comes to the front cameras, we have a 16 megapixel on the Poco and 12 megapixels on the iPhone, but you can clearly see how the iPhone is a lot, lot better when it comes to the selfies. Alright guys, so we are on top of the castle and I'm recording at full HD 60fps both on the Poco and on the iPhone. 
and I don't think that there is any fight between these two devices. We know that the iPhone is definitely a lot better, but we are just about to see just how good the Poco is compared to the iPhone and if it's actually usable in a real life scenario like vlogging and stuff like that. For me, the quality is more than acceptable on the Poco, but uh, if you truly want to take it to the next level, of course, you should take the iPhone. Still, three times the price. Alright guys, so by now you should have a clear understanding of what each of these phones can do and in my opinion, if you are a professional videographer, then the iPhone 15 Pro is definitely the one for you. Like I didn't even touch on all of the features it has like 4K, 60fps, log, ProRes video recording and much much more that the Poco X6 Pro just doesn't have. But the point of this video was to shoot everything on auto and to see just how good the Poco is compared to the iPhone, just how close can you get. And the answer is, well, pretty damn close to be honest. So there you have it guys, the Poco X6 Pro is definitely holding its ground against the iPhone in some specific situations, but overall I had plenty of fun shooting this video and comparing these two very different phones, but uh, if you'd like to watch the separate reviews for them you can click right here and you can also check some other reviews from my channel, but thank you for sticking until the end of this video, like, comment, subscribe, all that other bullshit, or you can dislike it if I've wasted your time. But that being said, have a wonderful day guys and a wonderful week. Bye bye.